I can confidently say that we have all dealt with some type of mental health issue. And if you personally have it, you probably know someone that has. So today on Shop the Pine Belt, we're learning all about the nonprofit organization Restore and how your contributions can help those in need of mental health services right here in the Pine Belt. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we're here with Dr. Lindsay and Jennifer talking all about the nonprofit Restore. But the thing is, Restore was actually birthed out of a need that was seen in the Restoration House Counseling. So, ladies, I want y'all to just dive into how all of this came about. Okay. So, three years ago, I started Restoration House Counseling um, just out of a passion for working with children and families and helping to meet that mental health need that we have here in our community. And as I got into this work, I really saw the need um, that families had when they maybe made a little too much money for their kids to get Medicaid help and maybe made not enough money to help meet that um, deductible need that they have when they have insurance. And so um, last year I thought, let's start a nonprofit. And um, that's when I got Lindsay on board and shared the vision of uh, working with families and helping to get community support to help bridge this gap for families. Awesome. And I was roped in because I'm Jen's lifelong best friend. Oh, um, but not only that, she and I share a passion for children and for helping people to access the resources that they need. I also teach college age students and so I certainly see a great need for these resources in our community. And when Jen has a passion for something, she's gonna make it happen. So <laughs> I, I jumped on board and um, accepted the position of being the president of the board so that I could help her dream for providing these services in our community come true. And I love that you said that because I can definitely tell that y'all are both really passionate about what you do. Um, so the next thing I want to do is maybe go take a look um, at some of your rooms in the Restoration House. Is okay. That cool? Yeah. yeah. Come All on. Right. All right. So what do we have here? So here's an example of one of our playrooms here at Restoration House Counseling. And um, I am lucky enough to get to be a registered play therapist and utilize play as a way to help meet those mental health needs of kids and families and work with them. So um, yeah, this is, a, this is an example of one of the rooms that we have to help meet those needs. Nice, so the kids are not just coming in, sitting on a couch, kind of like adults do. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> and it's so funny, lots of kids see that in mm -hmm. cartoons or in TV shows that they watch. And so when they come in and see a more playful environment, yeah. they're automatically automatically more at ease and ready to connect in a really healthy way. I love that. All right guys, so now we're going to dive a little more into the nonprofit Restore and learn all about the things that they have going on. Okay, so Lindsay, tell me what are the main differences between Restoration House Counseling and the nonprofit Restore? So Restore is a nonprofit 501c and in partnership with Restoration House Counseling, we want to provide um, assistance, financial assistance for children and families in our community. So we are not the therapy provider, but we are providing funds and resources so that we can reach a larger uh, group of people. Nice. Now let me into some of the goals that you have set for Restore. So the first goal is that we want to be able to bridge the financial gap for families. So Jen mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that sometimes families make too much money to qualify for Medicaid, but mm -hmm. they don't make enough money to be able to cover their insurance deductibles. And so through scholarships, we would be able to start these children into the therapy services that they need without an overwhelming burden for their families. We also want to take the knowledge and expertise that is available here at Restoration House Counseling mm -hmm. and allow um, individuals in the community to gain training experience. So we would provide training opportunities for child care protection workers, for families, um, for parents, so that we can better serve our children in the community. And then the final piece would be these workshop intensives and possibly family camps. So this could be for students or for families or children that were receiving therapy services or maybe those that are still waiting. Uh, maybe they're stuck on a waiting list and mm -hmm. they need um, some opportunities right now to provide resources, skills, um, those types of things for their children. So we could bring the community together mm -hmm. and train them better and give them those resources. Nice. I want to dive a little bit more into the training aspect. Who are these trainings before and could it help them maybe set them up for to get a job? 
So certainly when we think about social workers and counselors, these mm -hmm. trainings would give them the opportunity to gain CEUs, which they all need and want. Um, but additionally, it's also going to help them to continue to develop their own skill set so that they can better serve their clients. So that is, you know, we want to be growing this um, group of people that are experts in their community right. and when we if we have this strong group of experts in our community that can serve their clients well then we're all going to benefit from that nice i want to ask what has been maybe the most exciting part so far about being the president um, of restore well i don't know if it's exciting <laughs> um it's 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 a little bit overwhelming when mm -hmm. you look at the need that there is and, mm -hmm. and you think to yourself, you know, what can what can we really do? Right. But once our group got together and we started pooling our resources, right. I did start to really think we can make an impact. And that's what I want to encourage others to do, that when you contribute to organizations like this in your community that mm -hmm. impact your community that is how we can really um, help our kids and help our yeah. families and that builds a stronger community overall yeah i will say there is a huge need and like you said it's sometimes hard some people don't even have insurance and one of the main things i hear is you know therapy is just so expensive yeah. and it's like yes it is you have to have a little extra cushion in your That's budget right. yeah. to have therapy so i personally love what you guys are doing um, but for someone that you know is interested in someone in the community that might be wondering you know how can i help how can i give back what would you say to them so i'm going to direct those people to our website which okay. is restorehub.org and on our website, you will be able to donate. And we would love to accept a one-time donation, but I would encourage individuals to really think about the possibility of $5 a month, $25 a month, $50 a month, $1,000 a month. Um, $10,000 $10, a month. $10,000 a month, yes. Um, because if we can have a, a, a very consistent income for this organization, mm -hmm. then we can project out and we will know how many children we can provide scholarships for, how many trainings we can provide uh, for our social workers and our counselors, mm -hmm. how many camps we can have during the summer. And by just giving a little bit every month, um, we will really see that grow and really see a huge impact. So certainly, please donate. I know everyone's asking for your money you know, <laughs> these days, but we also, if you open your eyes and look around, we know how desperate the need is for these types of services. Mm -hmm. I love that. Well, Dr. Lindsay, I love what you're doing. Thank you. Um, Palm Belt community, y'all, if you have the heart and you, if this is something that you're interested in giving back to, make sure you go visit their website to truly make a difference right here in the Palm Belt.